What is good, Lab Gang? We are back with a brand new NBA 2K Lab Badge Test. But before we get into that, just want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you're bringing in the new year healthy. Shout out to 2021. It's going to be a big year for everybody involved, man. I can already see things looking up. You know what I'm saying? So we're testing Slithery Finisher, man. I know some of you guys get giddy when we start doing these finishing badge tests. So stick around to see the results. If you're new to the channel, man, feel free to subscribe. And let's get right into that video. So to get this badge, you either need at least a 74 driving layup or a 75 driving dunk for gold. And for Hall of Fame, it's 93 driving layup or a 94 driving dunk. Now to test the badge, we had a similar setup as the fearless finisher test we ran, where we put a clone player as the defender in the same spot every possession, which was in the paint with his hands up. Now we brought him out a little further than the fearless test to try to get a higher contest rate. And then we took 200 driving layups at each badge level and also without the badge where we went straight at the defender. We recorded the contest level for each attempt to see if the badge would reduce the contest. In this test, both players were 6-7 and as you can see from the results, the badge definitely helps you avoid contact and gives much better animations, especially at Hall of Fame, to avoid the completely smothered layups. Now we also tried this badge against a taller defender where we had the same 6-7 build but the defensive player was 7-1 just to see the impact. Again, you can see the badge drastically decreases the contest levels of defenders and gives much better animations to avoid contact. Now all this sounds great and it's definitely a useful badge, but we can still only put it at a B tier because the meta in the game is to post to the defenders when driving, not to put up contested layups. With how high the success rate of posters and contact animations are, that's definitely always the better move. That being said, you can't always get dunks, or can you? But having this badge will help a lot when the game forces you to put up a layup instead of dunking. Now if you're someone who likes to be craftier and go for more finesse finishes, then equip this badge on the highest level you can, otherwise it's probably safe to avoid. Although if you have very few finishing badges, this badge can be particularly useful at bronze or silver if you have some leftover badge points. Now we've had a few questions on if having this badge on would reduce the amount of contact dunks you get, and we do plan on testing this very soon, we'll look to upload that in the next video. So I appreciate you guys, thanks for watching man, hope this video helps don't forget to leave a like on the video if you found it useful or informative and i will see y'all in the next video later